mute. Should be showing up. I changed a uh, thing about MGBA so the window title should stay the same, but it's not showing up. There we go. Weird. I don't know why OBS doesn't like MGBA. Very strange. Uh, give me just one moment. Stream in the Crystal Clear Discord, but I don't really feel up to it after all. I don't think I will. I'm not sure how long this session I'll even have tonight. Um, it's gonna take a while, probably to like level up for the next gym after all, so I don't know. Uh, something about the way I do my stuff in RPGs tells me um, it might not be that super entertaining, so I don't really want to like push people to watch, you know? I should just put myself out there, but oh well. Um, anyway, so last time we got the ninth gym badge uh, from Blaine. That's right, Blaine. So astute observers might not, rather might notice this is a different town than I saved in. Um, so I updated the game, and I was told when I did so to head over to Olivine and examine this to fix any oddities, which I did. It just does this. Okay, so that means it's already done its stuff. Uh, when I examined that previously, it like, warped me off the screen and spawned me back over here in the Pokemon Center. So, I guess that means I'm all good to go. So I'm version 2.3.0 now. And I know that they've added um, the primary edition in this. Where is it? There's like um, a thing. Hold on. Uh, how do I get, there we go, other, other menu options. I wanted to change some of this stuff to fast. Might be kind of nice. Mm, I should be fine, I think. Anyway, um... So, where is it? Where's the thing I'm thinking of? Where do you get to the shiny chaining option? Um... Is it in the Pokedex? Options. It's probably here. Transitions. Mm. There's a lot of settings in here, huh? No, that's just your shiny colors. Uh, I don't know. I wonder. I seem to have lost track of it. I thought I knew where it was. Rather, I guess I thought I could just worm my way into finding it, but I guess not. Uh, I'm not really getting to worry too much about that then. I did take some notes from the FAQ regarding like useful places to visit, like where the move tutors are and whatnot. Um, there's a battle tutor that teaches some reasonably useful but non canon moves in the Dark Cave and in Route 3, which might be worth the visiting. The Kanto TM tutor is in the first floor of the Radio Tower in Lavender Town, which I went to. But I only talked to the event move tutor. So I'm gonna go check that out. Maybe just give some of these tutors a quick glance to see if there's anything useful I can learn. And yeah, I already talked to the beam tutors. Though it might not be a bad idea to go back and talk to them again. Um, radio towers. Yeah, I went right by it. My bad. Here, I think. Okay, so I think this guy was the event tutor. Uh, is it you? No, you're the quiz person. Hmm, hold on. Oh, Radio Tower in Lavender Town, not Goldenrod. I can't read. Wrong Radio Tower. Is there normally a Radio Tower in Lavender? Are you gonna tell me that, like, it's broadcasting the, the spooky, like, bad vibe music? Is that what this is? I haven't really been to Lavender much. I came here once real quick, I think. They just changed the, um, the thing from, yeah, it's just not like the Grave Tower or whatever it was anymore. Was it this way in Crystal too? Probably not, right? Uh, I figured this would be the guy, but it must be the guy over on the left then. Hello there. CD collection, also old TMs, okay, good. Let's see if we can learn anything. 
So some of them are able to learn stuff. What? Oops. No, I didn't. I hit the wrong button. No, I want to scroll through and see what there are. So... Ooh, so it's dance. Um, but he's a special attacker, so no, I don't really need that, do I? Um, body slam is pretty powerful. Hmm. Bubble beam. Water gun. Song. Seismatoss. Uh, a lot of these I don't really want. Yes, self-destruct. Perfect. Definitely want that one. Explosion. Even better self-destruct. Great. Um, maybe I'll get rock slide. He's only got ground moves right now, so it'd be great to have an actual rock move. Um, I don't want to keep rock smash, so I think I'll get rid of magnitude. Earthquake totally, like, outdoes it, you know. I'll keep dig for the occasional utility. But I'll gladly replace it if I run across something better. Yeah, I'm not done yet. I want to see what else you got. That might be all I get, though, for this particular set of Pokemon, at least. Uh, so that was Rock Slide. Substitute, huh? Substitute might be useful. Yeah, that's the last one he's got. Hmm. You know, I think Bastard having a substitute might not be too bad of an idea. Subs are good on fast Pokemon, right? Sure, I'll, I'll get rid of Dig. It'll kind of serve the same purpose. Okay. And so the other tutor, the battle tutor, that might be kind of useful. Um, Dark Cave without using Flash. You don't need Flash. And Route 3. So the Blackthorn side of Dark Cave. So if I get a Blackthorn, I should be able to find this tutor. I've not been up to Blackthorn yet. Let's go there now. I'm not ready to fight the gym leader yet. I don't have any ice Pokemon. So. Not like there's that many. Yeah, I just flew here. Thanks, though. Oh, so that's... This is just a warped up place, right? Yeah. That's got a couple useful NPCs, too, now. But not so useful for me. Mm -hmm. That is what the description of the item says. Uh, so it's probably... Ooh. No, gotta fight this guy first. I do. Which of the five are you talking about? <laughs> probably, you know. It's that guy, he's got like a little green nose. Some kind of clown man. Clown Vance sent up Pidgey Rail. Well, this isn't the best. If only I could have topped Papyrus Rock Slide, that would have been nice. He would have benefited from it quite a lot. But no, not such luck. Hmm. So I haven't really decided what gym leader to go after today. As stated, I'm not sure if this will be as long of a session as usual since I've got a really late start. Um, let's see, so do we have in Kanto, we have Sabrina, Koga, and honestly, we have one more left. We, we have Blue left as well. Maybe I should try Blue. He's got like a variety kind of team, right? So maybe he could get to fight. I was kind of thinking I'd say Blue and Clara for last. Though, so, I don't know. In Jota, we have Dad Claire. Um, we have Bryce, who's Ice type. Um, I could probably do him. I've got good stuff against Ice on my team right now. Ground and Fire are both super effective, right? Yeah, I think I'll fight Bryce today. I don't even need to change my team. So, is this Dark Cave? Ice Path, that's not Dark Cave. Is Dark. Damn it. <laughs> This guy's just camping off screen and waiting for me. What is your problem? No, you're not good at Pokemon. You're just a dirty, rotten camper. You might have a good KDA, but nobody likes you. Charmeleon. 
Good, the Papyrus can actually fight. I mean, he's level 37, I'd hope he could fight, really. As long as it's not like a really critically bad matchup, he should be okay. We got a lot of levels from grinding for Bling last time, after all. I'm kind of surprised this is a higher level. Considering Bling stuff, like, he had some little 40s. I mean, really, like... These random trainers, they're supposed to be, like, stronger than Blaine now, you know? They're one level above him, as far as the game's concerned. Ugh. Maybe it's the other way. Well, I usually like to put a few trainers before I, like, go and grind in gym fights anyway, so it's okay. Zack the Pokemaniac. Pokemania Zack. Right, boys, fine. That is perfectly fine. I'll just earthquake it. Just like I do to everything. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so I'll explore a little bit more here on the left, and then maybe go check the right. I have no idea where anything is <laughs> in Gen 2 anymore, really. So... Oh, oh come to think of it. Um, what level is it that he gets false swipe at? I thought it was now. Don't tell me it's like 48. Hold on, I'll look. Um, 39. Okay, he needs one more level, and then he'll finally get false swipe so we can catch stuff. New trainer? Yeah, got fish. Um, what do you want me to do about it? I can use Earthquake. You know, like, move around the tectonic plates and crush all the fish? Will that make you happy? Because I can totally do that. Um, uh, we'll probably be okay here. It's not even using a water move. Horn attack. Great. What a genius, this trainer. Oh. No. Level advantage makes it a one-shot. You know, I'm just gonna stay out. That's quite the cry. I like it. it. So, isn't it weird that Remoraid evolves into Octillery? I've never really understood that. It's gotta be like one of the weirdest evolutions in the series. I mean, yeah, people talk about the whole like, um... What, what was it again? Like, Beedrill and um... Thing, or the Beedrill and Butterfree. Some people thought like it made more sense if the other you know, were the other way around or something. I don't really know about that, thinking about how they look right now, but um, I don't know. Are there any other really weird evolution chains like this one? Like a fish turns into an octopus, that, that just isn't really right. That's not how it works. Not even close. They look nothing at all like each other. If anything, like, you could maybe have it turn into Mantine, because Mantine has, like, the little Remoraid stuck on it. But even then, that's kind of a stretch. The fish should just turn into a bigger fish. I like maybe a different kind of fish, but, you know, arrays and octopi are pretty different from just fish, IMO. And probably in the opinion of most marine biologists, just ask Jojo. Oh, the first tile. Oh right, I turned on a fast encounter. That's cool. You still get the animation too, so it doesn't really a downside. Um, no, I don't really want to fight random Pokemon right now. Let me look a bit further over here. And fight another trainer. Sure they do. You definitely don't just stand here all day and repeat that to everyone who walks by you. Sybil. So, still no significant updates in my capture card. Um, I've contacted Elgato. They asked for some logs from a program um, that they had to grab to get some analytical information, and I sent them that. I'm currently still waiting on a response back. So, until that's all settled, um, I'm not going to be able to stream anything off my Switch like I want to. Um, I hope that'll be fixed soon. That's something I really want to do. But 
I just gotta wait for now. I'm still like... Mm, 95 or higher percent sure that's just effective. Because from what I understand about how this thing works, I should be getting like passed through, um, you know, from the switch through the Elgato to my monitor regardless, as long as I have plugged into a power source. You don't need the drivers on the PC for that. The drivers on the PC end are just there so you can like capture the input from the PC. You don't actually like stream it or whatever you want to do, record it. But from what I understand, it should be passing through regardless of you know, where I've got it. They can say in their official fact to just, you know, if you're not sure if your PC power source is working, plug it into a USB wall power source. And I've done that. I've tried multiple of those. And, you know, yeah, it gets power. I just killed the Pyrus here, by the way, right before you're level 39. I'm really intelligent. I figured Boy Punch would do a bit more than that. But, um, yeah, I'm just getting nothing. I tried on multiple monitors. So I, I'm kind of just clueless at this point. <laughs> It sucks that I'm going to have to waste the time probably doing a return and waiting for another one to show up. I hope I can return it. I bought this thing like two months ago. Opened up the box, you know, threw away the box. How was I supposed to know this was going to happen? It's not really feasible to just test something as soon as you get it, you know, if you're not ready to use it. Oh, this won't do it all. No, it will not. I think I have a ton of money I haven't deposited, don't I? Yeah, quite a bit. That's like almost as much as I've got in the bank, actually. And one more guy. It's a shame that Papyrus is painted, but... Oh well, so be it. Thirsty, thirsty. What do we have up in the front now that Papyrus is painted? Oh, it's faster. Oh, wow, geez, he's level 41. He's actually higher than Stinkachu now, that's impressive. We'll be keeping this party for a bit, because it'll be pretty good for Bryce overall. There's like four good Pokemon here for him. And the rest are neutral, as far as I know. So, why not, right? I mean, honestly, with like this good of a team against him, we might be able to just go there and like, beat him now. Or at least like, almost beat him, you know? I think we'll give it a shot soon, but I do want to find that tutor first if I could. Oh, and right after this battle, assuming I don't forget, um, I want to change the music. Not to random, mind you, because that has some problems that come with it, but... Um, I'll scroll through and just put on something nice. For trainer battles, I think. We're here, so Johto Trainer. I don't know what that is. Jake Marshall. Um, so, this is the um, cave story one, right? Yes. Don't know what that is. trainers here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go back over here. Hold on. I don't think it's over this way. Let me move. Oh. Oh, jeez. I thought the game froze for a second. Yes, Ivan, thank you. He has revived Fossil. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up sometime, maybe. I already have an Omanyte, don't I? Didn't I even catch one? I know I at least encountered one from a rock. I might have not caught it. I don't think I did, actually. But regardless. We could get it outside the fossils. <gasps> Apparently beating the Elite Four also makes the fossils respawn, which is neat. Oh, the ones today? Yeah, I know. Um, what do we have up here? Is this Dark Cave? No, this is the ice path again. Where the hell's the dark cave? Who are you? Oh, it's just like some music. Enjoy. Enjoy, joy, does it? This is the gym. Now, I know that there's like... 
I think back here, right? Like, back by here is where she has you go, like, afterwards, because she throws a little tantrum, right? This is the dragon's den, though. This isn't it, isn't it either. What the hell's the dark cave? That's explicitly... Uh -huh. Check, check my notes again. Dark cave, black door inside. Yeah, what the heck? Is it like... Maybe... I don't want to encounter something right now. Get out of here, Magikarp. You're a failure. You're level 6. You'll never amount to anything. You're gonna be sushi. Look, it's a sign up. It's sleeping. Okay, okay. How would I do that? Oh, I can. I can just go up. Did it go left or right? Not Rose. What? Where the heck is this? Hold on. What's over this way? I did see there was an item over here. You can't only walk up here, can you? TM46. Really? There's a TM up here. Uh, what is that? 46, huh? Thief. Well, that is kind of useful in this game, so you can go get gold and silver wings for those other tutors. Okay. I seem to have gone somewhere. But... This, um... No, I, f I feel like this place is kind of familiar. Maybe this place wasn't crystal. But this sure is a dark cave. Yeah, this is just over on the left side again. I mean... I'm gonna look at the map. Hold on. Uh, not that map. This map. The more detailed one. Dragon's Den. No, no, no. Ridge, Hungry Town. Is it over to the right? It's way down there? Okay. So when they say Blackthorn side, they mean like... Root, whatever that is, root side, I guess, really. Yeah, hi. Thank you for showing me the little path. Mr. Pig. Uh, so we want to go south from here, then. Okay. Mountain Road, Route 45. Here? Says it doesn't require a flash. So it's not this entrance. So that clearly beats flash if you want to get anywhere in there without I don't know, bumping up against the walls. Uh, we'll fight this guy. Get the pirates up to 39. Yeah, give me that cave story music. Gotta be one of the best songs in this. Got the swine up. It's quick as good. That's quick as very good. Aww. My sleep schedule was really messy today. Hold on, I'm gonna grab a ball swipe first before I explain. Uh, we'll get rid of headbutt. That's kind of garbage, isn't it? Uh, so I went to bed early last night because I went out to Wendy's with my wife, got some food. I was just really, really tired after getting back and eating. Oh, I ate while I was out. Regardless, eating gets to be tired sometimes. We definitely overate a little bit. I won't deny that. So I went to bed early, and I think I got up at... Uh, when was it? Maybe... 3 or 4? After going to bed at like 11? Or something like that. Hours might be off a bit. Point is, I got like four hours of sleep. Stayed up for a few hours, did a bit of work, got another four hours of sleep, and stayed up until, well, here I am now. So, not the best. I've got like a couple little micro naps essentially, which isn't optimal, for sure. But you know, that's just what you get sometimes. Micro naps. Sometimes I envy those people who get by on like those micro nap schedules, they actually go consistently like. The Everyman schedule, I think it's called, right? There's like variants of it, like Everyman 2 or 4, or, I don't know, 256. No clue. But, they actually like, get a bunch of micro naps throughout the day, rather than having one long sleep session. You know, they do like, 8, or they do 6, it depends on how they want to space them out and how much time they have for each. I think that's really cool. But, on one hand, I don't know. 
I, it'd be pretty hard to adapt to that, and I can I feel like it would throw off a lot of lifestyles. You know, I have a pretty irregular lifestyle, you know, I'm outside of like stream days and commitments and stuff, which I have relatively few of compared to most people. I am okay with staying up all night. But what that usually involves for me is like getting up at 8 p.m., staying up all night, and you know, going to bed in like late morning or early afternoon or whatever. I'm okay with being nocturnal. But I know that I have to shift that when it comes time for a stream. So I do. It's difficult, but I do. So with like the everyman schedule, I imagine that's tough to do unless you can keep it on track and I don't know, I feel like having like short bursts of time where you're available for stuff and awake would be kinda tough. To like, I don't know, do stuff with other people. Play games with your friends, you know. Whatever other stuff you have to do. What the, the heck's the other entrance here? Here? Nope, this needs flash. I'm reading what I copy pasted from the FAQ. Located in Dark Cave, Black Thorn Side, without using flash. So, where is it? <laughs> hey, it's Barry. Um, do I have a Pokemon to put this on? Can I pick up two? Well, what was the other berry I got? Was it just a regular one? It was poison to a berry. I guess it's probably just random. Here, the players have berry. And I have one more. Might as well just put these on because otherwise they're just inventory clutter, you know? Here, hold it. Hold it. Oh boy, more trainers. Damn, we gotta fight one. I guess we need the XP anyway. If I must, boy. If I must. Can't put Ted. Ted's talk. Can't put Ted and his camper talk. Yeah, everything is still so low level. Like, how are you supposed to really... Like, level up for that's gym? Do they just expect you to do the refights? I don't think they rebalance the levels or anything in this version. It's possible. But... Like, I know Bryce's stuff is probably gonna go up to like 45 or something. Like, it would take forever. It would take way too many trainers to hit anywhere close to that. Um, like, riding on, like, 32s. Uh, he's got a 37 here. But isn't that one of the highest level things I've seen today? And it's kind of the exception so far, you know? I don't know. There's definitely gonna be people that, be people that say, Oh, you're not supposed to be the same level as the gym leader. It's supposed to be hard. You're supposed to be unmatched. Yeah, but like, okay, but by how much? Like, five levels is a bit too much. I'd say like maybe one or two, three. And I mean, a lot of my Pokemon were like 10 levels too low for Blaine until I went and like purposely grinded um, on gym leader refights. I really should have switched out here, by the way. Not sure why I didn't. Let's try out Substitute. Perfect. I wasted his first turn. Works for me. Let's do it. I must use the uh, the doll graphics they've got. Oh, actually, it's the doll graphics, I guess, which probably are the same thing, but I had to guess. Cool. Well, I'm gonna say the substitute worked, but I think it's more like that gold luck is just stupid. He's got a golem. Look at all his gold Pokemon. I don't like the way its mouth moved. Please don't put me inside. I don't want to enter the rock sphere. The boulder zone. I saw the item, and I ran for it, proving that there was another trainer there. What a fool I am. Oh, 
I'm too tired for this tonight, I guess. I'm doing a poor job of holding a conversation with myself. <sighs> Yawn. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go just try out Bryce directly after I find this tutor guy. If I don't find it within a couple minutes, I'll just give up and look it up before the next stream, I guess. It's weird. I don't know if he's just further down this route, or if the info is wrong, or what. I'm like the official FAQ on the GitHub, so I hope it's correct. I'm assuming it's just a bit further down the route. It looked pretty far down on the map. This dark cave is huge. I remember nothing, honestly. I'll use Bone Moran just for the sake of variety. I do like Bone Morang. Look at that, like, special graphic. It's not generic like Earthquake. It's high like tier, real games. Oh, rats. Oh, wow, it was for total trash. Please, no, I don't want encounters. I don't want the Geodude. I mean, if I somehow, like, miraculously walk into encountering a shiny or something, I'll definitely try to catch that. But I don't just want random Pokemon right now. I already have these, they're kind of trash anyway, you know? What do we got for footsteps here? A Geodude footprints, but they're just not on feet! Now I'm just gonna heads. Alright. I'll just have to look it up. Maybe there's like a path on the right and it like goes left anyway. I don't know. Probably not though because there's Silver Cave. So that would probably be what that would be if there was something on the right. Oh well. We're just not going to find that this time I guess. Maybe I just suck at navigating. I'm not really sure. I feel like I've done the common sense thing here. That's fine. Let's go heal up and why am I fall back up to Blythorn? I really don't know what I'm doing. Let's go give Bryce a shot. Definitely rushing into things a little bit. I don't expect this to go super smooth. He's probably going to have such a level advantage that I'm going to have some trouble, but still. Um, does Donald have an XP share right now? If he doesn't, he should. Uh, no, he has Mystic Water. I probably took it off temporarily for the fight with Blaine. He really needs some more levels. I know we've kind of, like, gone through most of the battles where having a water type will be really useful, but still. I'd like to keep him leveled up a bit since he's my starter. And Bunsen and Slugmami are behind too, but oh well, someone's gotta be behind, I guess. Um, past that, we can probably just start with these guys. Specifically Faster will probably be good since he's so incredibly quick. He's got the soft sand on him right now too. So let me fly over to... Um, where is it? Ecritique? I think it's Ecritique that has Bryce, right? I believe this is where I ended last time. Yeah. So, let's see here. You gotta tell me. Bryce, right? Secret moves. Oh, secret moves? Is this, is this Bryce? What? Oh, I guess they didn't agree with all the, all the gym gimmicks. Alright, just, just talk to me, I'll fight you. Alright, I'm gonna go outside and examine that sign. I might be a bit confused. This guy sounds like he's gonna have ghost types. Sage Ping. He's, he's got a Gengar. Well, it's not like it has a Levitate. This is Gen 2. It's level 41 though, jeez. Alright, we just can use Earthquake. No other good choice, really. I didn't come here prep for ghost types. That he didn't come prep for physical attacks. As if Gengar really would. Yes, Donald grows stronger. Evolve already. Probably will evolve anytime. One moment, I've got a spammer in 
in chat here. Those ad bots. Perfect. Second chatter of the day, and that's what I get, huh? Yeah. Sometimes that's just what happens. Yeah, dang ad bots, I know. <laughs> Having a quiet night tonight is on me. A for streaming so late, and B for. Not advertising the crystal clear Discord like I initially intended. I'll save that for another day where I'm more awake and maybe more energetic. Though honestly, I'm over halfway done with crystal clear anyway, so maybe I just won't. You know, I don't want to make Pokemon necessarily something that I'm like super known for. I don't plan on playing. You know, Pokemon is my constant side. I would be against playing a bit more for sure, but. Um, I do want to start a double decline soon when this is done, or maybe before it's done, and jump back forth between the two. Pokemon is louder than me? It, it, it is? That's not really what my, my volume here is telling me. Uh, I'll adjust it though. Thank you. Um, is that any better? Because according to OBS, like, um, I'm way louder than Pokemon. Okay, thank you. I'll make sure to take a look at that um, in post before I upload. Weird. Make sure to check the levels in OBS and everything. I'm just no good at any of this, huh? Yeah, a uh, double decline has to wait until the capture card thing's worked out anyway, so... You know, if that ends up taking a bit, I might just wait until Crystal Clear's over with regardless. Psych up. Um... What, what's he have again? Don't really need strength, do I? We'll get rid of that. Oh, never mind. We can't. Okay, fine. No psych up for me. This guy's just... He's a real Gengar lover, I guess. I mean, it's not like anyone's gonna come here with just normal and fighting types. Unless maybe they start the game here and they start with, like, Eevee or something. But who would do that? One person, surely, but not me. Okay, so one second here. Who the hell am I? Morty. This is where I thought I was. Hold on. This is not where I meant to go today. I guess Morty's a ghost type guy? Um. Is it all of them? This is actually where I started today. But it's not where I finished last time. Um, not sure where I finished last time, honestly. Um, no, 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 all mine is Jasmine. I already beat Jasmine, hold on. I'm so lost. Where the heck is Bryce? Blackthorn of uh, Mahogany Town. Here it is. I saw them on the map, but I thought this was Blackthorn. I missed that there was a city there between them. So this, this has to be Bryce, right? Price. Oh, it's Price. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I've been saying his name wrong the whole time. Okay. Okay, so they haven't removed all the gym gimmicks, I guess. Why? Why? Don't make me do this nonsense. Why would you move the trash cans? But... Not Bryce's ice. Well, at least we'll have a pretty quick go with the trainers, I think. It won't really take too long to plow through with Earthquake. Once faster runs out, we'll switch over to Papyrus and hopefully he'll be able to outspeed at least some of these. Sneasel's cute. I've always liked Sneasel. I don't really like Weevil too much, though. I think I prefer Sneasel, honestly. I like the design more. Oh, that wasn't a one-shot. Oh no, it's gonna do 44 damage. Or... I thought Faint Attack did... your level in damage. Are we thinking of something else? That, that's odd. Huh. Uh, finish off with this. Save Earthquake PP. Roxanne. 
it's okay, we're not skiing. Yeah, you know, maybe I should go use that money, like put it away before I lose some of it. I will in a moment after I beat this guy, I think. Wait, was this graphic in the original? That's kind of a weird graphic. Probably was. He's got Dilly Bird. And this one guy who's like a total Dilly Bird fanatic. It's his favorite Pokemon. Oh, is Dilly Bird actually flying type? That's kind of silly, considering it's a flightless bird. But, okay. Um, we'll just use Rock Slide. We did get it after all. Serves Doduo and Dodri are actually normal types because of that, right? Instead of flying types. Weird that they didn't apply to the Jelly Bird. Goyster, that might know water moves. Um, I think I'll switch out to Old Stinky for this one. It's not like relying on him to cheese things anymore. He's only the third highest level, so it's okay. As far as the others, they're all getting XP share leveled for now. They'll get up to our level eventually, hopefully. And join the big leagues. It would be kind of nice to have some player types for this gym. Another cloister? Okay, fine. Just keep Stinkachu out then. Technically, he needs the XP more than um, the ground types, I guess. So, fine. I'm not gonna complain. Forty. Forty. Okay, what is Price's secret? Fantastic. I'll just do that. I'll just do that in Pokemon. Alright, hold on. I need to go put my money away. Get that Earthquake PP back as well. see why is that little one there i'll never know this is the wrong option in the pc hope i've accidentally opened up aol mom i'm sorry i messed up your phone call i'm i'm over doubling my money by depositing this huh i don't have too much to spend on right now honestly like i think i've got most of the tms i want I mean, I imagine I'll want some new ones, like, for when I swap out some of my team, but still. Uh, so have they reworked this so you don't have to care about it? Or do you still have to care? Looks like you still have to care. Okay. Um, that's not really gonna get me anywhere, is it? Okay. Oh, I haven't bought this guy yet, I guess. Nope, it's not fun at all. Should have been removed. <clears throat> I'm kind of honestly against gyms having puzzles in the first place. Sure, maybe gameplay wise it makes sense as an addition, but like lore wise, it's kind of silly. Like, isn't the point of visiting a gym to test your strength as a trainer? Not to test like your, I don't know, problem solving abilities in sliding ice puzzles? I've always thought it to be a bit silly. Oh, I should use substitute. Starting something up, right? I didn't actually see what. No fury attack. Is is that even good? Doesn't really look like it. I think I'm okay having not subbed. Okay. He's got three, huh? Border Brad. I like that you can see its eyes for a moment when it does that. I'd never seen Phyllis Wine's eyes before. At least not from memory. Oh, is it just using focus energy maybe? I, I still have honestly not noticed I have not read that first message either time. Hmm, not quite enough to two-shot this guy. Maybe in this level though, which will be like now. Use Rock Smash, save some of that PP. Good. 
I guess fighting is getting its dice, huh? Just got that too. I don't think I really need it. Anytime Donald's gonna evolve. Very soon, I'm sure. Do gong 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 gong. Ah, uh, wave to me. This is part water type though, right? So it might actually hit you with something that's gonna hurt. Uh, ice Beam is probably fine, right? Ooh, Ice Beam is not fine. Oh, so we're super effective against each other? Is that how this matchup works? I wasn't actually aware. Interesting. Look at all these beams. Why do you need multiple? That hurt. Hmm, we're gonna need to go heal after this. Like, one of our... Oh, crap. One of our main Pokemon is down and the others... Well, not looking too great. Probably about to go down. I feel like there's no point switching because, like... Well, whatever I switch into is also going to take a pretty big hit. I'll just let this happen, switch out Stingachu and quick attack it. But we'll heal up again. Sucks because we had to make a few moves to get to this trainer, but... Well, gotta do what you gotta do. Game insists that I do puzzles. Now mind you, I don't really mind RPG puzzles in general, you know? Stuff like Genius of Sephiros. Oh, finally. Okay, well, look. And Double the Coin has puzzles. Those two are RPGs. But, you know, they're fine, though. There's no, like, in universe gym system. They're in Pokemon games. You know, it, it's kind of okay for them just to be whatever. And Pokemon, I don't know. I feel like it makes so many, like, grievances against the lore and, like, system it tries to set up. Uh, it just ends up kind of taking me out of it. Ever since I was a kid, like... I, I think maybe for, like, Gens 1 and 2, I got into it. But I've never been able to, like, really take Pokemon's, like, plot. Or how it, like, incorporates the elements seriously. Ever since then. Okay, well, all that did was loop me around. Um, what if we go up here? That's, that's just a loop. So we need to get to the lower left bit right there, so we need to get to the lower right one there. So we need to get to that one. Okay, we can fight him from here. I'm skipping some of the trainers, please forgive me. But I don't feel like sweating around and fighting him, there's like two or three more left. He's got quite the uh, entourage here. He really does. Alright. Yeah. Make you suffer for your stupid gym guy. Also, are you not cold in here? Tell me you're at least, like, dressed up. Something warm? No, he's not. He's just got a shirt. He's wearing shorts, even. The man is in shorts. Price, no, this isn't healthy. Not at your age, especially. I respect my elders enough to tell them when they're endangering their health. Damage, don't have enough. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna do this to save PP. Wait, I don't need to. I just healed. I haven't fought anything since then. I'm sure I'm okay. Oh man, really? Uh, of all things to happen. Switch up to Donald. Uh, we're just gonna sack him so we can full heal um, faster, I think. I guess Donald will probably be okay here, actually. He's gonna use a water type. I'm surprised, though, because of the level difference. I think it would have taken even more from that. Good. But now we need to heal him back up, too. That is some real bullshit getting a freeze off on me like that. We don't have too many, um, remains left either, do we? Four or five? Yeah, five. Jeez. Gotta go restock sometime. I feel like in one of the games, you can buy, like, multiple at once, like a pack of six or something, or a bundle of three. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Maybe that's, like, Moo Milk. I don't know. Um... Let's just use for with a stab, I think. It's probably still our best. Finish them off, finish them off. Good. 
unnecessary crit, probably. Alright, I'm gonna swap back into faster now. Mmm, saying that Dugong... No, we're actually gonna bring out Stikachu. That thing, it could definitely, like, one-shot with Ice Beam or Roar Beam, whatever it wants, really. Level 47, too. But, I mean, the real problem is that, like, we don't have, um, type advantage against it. Since it's half water, I believe. This works, though. Please don't freeze. It's like 10% chance, you'd better not. I'd be pretty mad if that happened twice in a row. The odds of that must be pretty dang low, gotta say. No swine. Okay, here's a good time to switch out. Pile of swim. Level 48, yeah, I knew his stuff would be high level like this. Like, how the heck do they expect you to level off the trainers? Feels like maybe just doing the gym refights is the intended way to level in this. Which, if so, it's fine. Maybe I don't need to feel bad about doing it then. Uh, how much is this gonna do? Oh, jeez. Why does your pillow swine have a high special attack? Ice is special in this, right? Um, yes, it is. Okay. Um, this might be an issue. It might just outspeed Papyrus. I don't know, I assume he's pretty slow, but... Um, Papyrus isn't super fast either. If this one-shots him, we might be in trouble. Oh boy. Is this thing just gonna sweep everyone? It might. He's fly here. At least Raichu has speeds. Good stick to get him. I mean, this isn't gonna do that much, though. Yeah, the type of advantage gets cancelled out due to being half ice, so. Dang. That's pretty bad. I wonder what our best point of approach for this thing would be. Do we have anything that'd be good against ice and ground? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, of course he's got one of these. This isn't gonna do double damage either. That's good defensive type, I guess. Oh, the weaknesses get- Oh, this does do still- Okay. Well, geez, I didn't know I could do that. Okay, so I guess we can actually just use Donald against him. I guess ice doesn't resist water. Good to know. And Pilosine is ice ground, right? Ow. Ow. Um, that, that's pretty bad. My only real hope here is to stall for another turn with Donald, so I need to heal him up. But I'm not sure if I can actually heal him up enough. I think one, one lemonade's not going to be enough, is it? In which case, I'm just wasting him on nothing. Yeah, there's no point. He's not going to be able to go first. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I do here. He's going to outspeed everything. I know he outspeeds Donald. Like, if he outspeeds, um, Papyrus, he's gonna outspeed Donald, too, I'm quite sure, so. No point wasting lemonade here when it would be enough. I have a few left, after all. Oh, I do outspeed. What the hell? <laughs> I guess Marowak is just really slow. Wow. So I didn't have to, like, throw those two away. I mean, they would have only been useful as, like, a pivot for heals, but still... That's some kind of use, you know. Okay, so Donald could get some use in this fight. That's nice. And at this point, we'd want to switch back to Stinkachu. Okay. Gotcha. I've got a rough idea of how to handle this then. Now, let me tell you, I'm really tempted to just, like, reload the save file. But, I got some EXP there. I only used up like one or two lemonades, so it's okay. I won't. Um, so how did we get there? Not like that. Um, we need to like make it to that one there at the lower right. The kind of lower right, you know? Um, like this, I think, yeah? 
Yeah, then we just do the background. Okay. Simple enough. Alright, yeah, so we, we can open up with faster just like before. Dukong and Cloyster will switch out to Stinkachu. And for Pillow Swine, we'll switch out to Donald. And we don't know what his fifth last one is yet. I think he's got five, right? Yeah. So we'll have to deal with that when it comes. Alright. Uh, this might be a one shot now. I'm unsure. We gained only one level. I don't know if it'll be enough. It probably just depends on the lock, really. Maybe I should try to get off a substitute. I think I will. I think I'll try to get out a substitute. So I could like get a free hit and something else after. Ow. Okay, well. No, not again. Come on. I, what the heck? That, that's just unfair. Well. We're just gonna have to sacrifice the fire types so I can heal them up. At the very least, get rid of the freeze. I'll try to get rid of both of them when I bring them against Sneasel. Well, that didn't do much. That's good. And... What are the odds? Pull them up. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll try to get him up the full too. Why not? If I lose this time, I'm probably gonna have to go get some more lemonades. Which is fine. I have, like, enough for a fortune of lemonades, but still. I might as well leave Bunsen out, considering, you know. I mean, he'll survive this hit and do some damage back. Sneasel is a pretty squishy Pokemon. This might actually be enough to just take him out. I think it will be. Cool. Bunsen got a surprise win there. But not a surprise level up. <laughs> Alright, Cloyster means Stinkachu. Alright, please be one shot. Probably two, probably two hits, right? Oh, no, nice. Alright, that's good, that's reliable. Alright, what are you sending out next? The pillow swine. Alright. We got to Donald, who, despite his low level, can both outspeed and two shot this thing. I love that. I didn't know Donald was such a beast, but hey, that evolution did a lot for him, I guess. With those defined muscles on his back. Shoulder blades. I don't I don't know what those are technically. But it makes him look strong. Oh jeez, a crit. Beautiful. Nice. Nice job, Don. And all the XP is yours. He deserves all the credit for that. Alright, back at Stinkachu. This one's more of a team effort than I thought it'd be. I was kind of expecting I'd be able to just use faster and maybe Papyrus here. But it doesn't really work out like that, huh? A lot of these have water moves, and it turns out that ground and ice are like a duality that is strong against each other, so... You know, anything that hits them is gonna knock them out as well in one hit. What's your last one? It's a Lapras. Okay, we'll stay out. This is our best bet against a Lapras. Lapras tends to be rather tanky though, so this will probably be two hits despite super effective, right? But as long as it doesn't, like, one-shot me, I'm probably fine. He does still have his Hyper Potion, though. Bryce does. Price. Not Bryce, damn it. Price. So this sucks. He's gonna get low enough for the Hyper Potion. So I'm gonna Quick Attack. To nudge it under 50%. And then I'm gonna Thunderbolt again. I'm not sure if that's under the threshold there. I might be off by a little. But I don't really have the HP to mess around and do another one, I don't think. I mean, I might, but I don't really want to risk it. I'm going to do this. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, he's going to heal him next turn. As long as I'm not frozen here, I could get some good... Oh, man. That's worse than being frozen. Alright, um... So 
switch it faster, I guess. Um, is there any point getting a substitute up? I don't really think there is. I'm just gonna earthquake twice in a row. I think that's my best bet. Oh, Pete didn't heal him? Pete. He hadn't used his heal yet, had he? Well then. Either I'm remembering wrong or he's just forgotten because he's gone senile. Poor guy. Ah, uh, I'm impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Of this badge. The Glacier Badge. Nifty. And this is a gift for me. Uh, what is this gonna be? Blizzard, probably? A team contains icy wind? Quick damage and low speed. Demonstrates the harshest winter. Is that really that useful? I don't think that's really used that much, is it? Okay. Let me out of here. I never want to come back and play it price again, but... Who knows? Maybe it'll be convenient to do so in the future. Ten badges. I have, and I don't really care about going and getting it fixed up, I don't think. I don't really play using Omnite. Or any fossil, really. Alright, let's heal up. That was a nice, quick gym run. I was hoping it would be pretty simple, and it, it was. It's only a couple attempts. Not bad. Uh, I'm sure whatever comes next won't be as easy, though. I think we've run out of, like, the type matchups that we had, like, really good setup for, you know? Right, but regardless, that's a little bit early, but I will be ending here for the night. Since for me, it is a little bit late. For anyone who came and watch tonight, uh, thank you for coming. Have a good night. And I should be back again on Friday.